all of you coming to join us. So old friends and new friends and everything in between, it's, it's really wonderful that you've all set aside the time to come and be here with us on this day. Uh, so uh, we'll talk more this afternoon about what Katina is and why it's important. Uh, but briefly, it's, it's about celebrating the presence of monastics in your life. It's about celebrating having a monastery close by, um, having uh, Buddhist monks who live in your, uh, within reach of you, uh, Buddhist monks that you can come and spend time with, uh, a monastery that you can come and uh, practice the Dhamma at. Uh, so this is no small thing. Uh, this is a very precious and rare thing in the world. Uh, and the Katina celebration is a celebration of our mutual support. Uh, it's a celebration of how we take care of each other, how we look after each other. Uh, and uh, commonly, Theravada monasteries usually start any holiday with a ridiculous amount of food. <laughs> so we seem to be doing things the Theravada way today with multiple giant buffet tables with a ridiculous <laughs> feast. Um, so it's, it's also one of the ways that we show that we care about each other. So today many people brought food to share, uh, so to share with the resident monastics and also to share with each other. Um, so making sure that everyone who comes here uh, has plenty of food to eat, making sure that our bodies are well taken care of. Because uh, when our bodies are well taken care of, then we can take care of our hearts, and we can take care of our minds. Uh, so, uh, what you're seeing here is not just food, what you're seeing here is caring. What you're seeing here is, is kindness, uh, thoughtfulness, compassion. So that's what food represents on a day like this. Uh, so every day we do a, a chant before we eat, reminding ourselves that food is to nourish the body and keep it healthy. And that's true. So one function of food is as fuel, fuel for the body, medicine for the body. That's one way of looking at food. Uh, but in Buddhist monasteries, we also look at food as an expression of the goodness of people, an expression of the virtue, uh, the kindness, uh, the generosity of people, an expression of that deep, caring, loving, gentle heart uh, that just wants everyone to be happy. Uh, so I'd like to encourage you to view food in that way today. So to see it not just as fuel for the body, uh, or not as entertainment for your tongue, um, but rather as an expression of the kindness that we have for each other, an expression of how we care about each other, and how we show that caring for each other in very tangible ways, physical ways, solid ways. Uh, so uh, we'll start by chanting some blessing chants, so some traditional chants which are wishing the best for you, um, wishing for all good things to come to you, um, for you to strictly attain the highest happiness, uh, for all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas to watch over you and protect you. And also a reminder that what really protects us is our own goodness. Um, it's the goodness that we develop through practicing sila, samadhi, and panya. It's the goodness that we develop through morality, uh, through training our minds, uh, through cultivating uh, a gentle heart. Uh, this is what brings true blessings into our lives. Uh, so as we chant, remind yourself uh, of your own goodness, uh, of the blessings that you've generated for yourself through cultivating the Buddha's path, uh, through cultivating these uh, virtues uh, of, of goodness uh, that we speak about here. So as we chant, uh, reflect on your goodness uh, and delight in that, in that goodness within you. Sava roga vinimoto, Sava santa babajito, Sava vira mati canto ni budo tatuam baba, Savi dio viva jantu, Sava roga vinatatu, Made. Yo, tu. 